Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Happy Turtles. Um, so yeah, we're on the defense. There is a fleet coming in with 280 force power. Um, but we're hanging around our capital, which has a force of 394. So if they go for that, that's not going to be good for them. We're retreating our science vessels. Um, they could go for some of our outposts. Evading hostile fleet. In fact, um... Let's see, you are evading... Let's tell you to not do that. Instead, cancel and go home. Because you're almost home anyway. He's got 11 Corvettes. We're about to have 13. I think we just sit and wait. I mean, he might pick off my mining outposts, which would suck. Let's turn you off hostile, tell you to stay home for now. New ships have been detected on a direct course. Are you serious? New ships. They're called new ships. Three more raiders. How do you have so many freaking corvettes? What is up with you? You are a fanatic militarist, xenophile. He is like pissed, man. Here I was thinking we could play the safe little colonial game, but no. Um, do we? We we have to wait. We have to. We have evading to. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, who's evading? Evading a hostile fleet. What are you talking about? Who is evading? No, just all stay in orbit. Stay in orbit, and and then let's let let's let Paul discover this anomaly. He's going to succeed. It's going to be awesome. We might lose a mining station while we're waiting on our new Corvettes. Warp impact. A massive crater on Caleb. Gillian, the fourth, appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship traveling at a warp rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. We gained 60 science research. Was there anything else that you could do for us um, that's kind of far away? Why don't you go... Wait, pause the game? Why did the game get unpaused? No, 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 no. You are not supposed to be going in this way. You're supposed to be going out here. And then this other science ship, you know what, we can warp from anywhere, so go survey here. Just ignore these guys. They're not going to cause you any problems. They appear to be trying to engage my research station. Evading hostile fleet. Station under attack. Maybe if we can isolate the navies? Station under attack. 209 is certainly stronger than 100 and whatever. Come on, Daryl Pierce. I need your help, man. We're probably going to have to reinforce over the force limit here. Just to, to try to help out. This guy's being a, being a jerk. And he has beaten the snot out of my research station. Hostile fleet engaged. They have no leader, so we should win this fight pretty easily. Their technology, it looks like they do have 350 hull points, 11 armor, FTL capability is hyperspace, just like us. Um, they use lasers, like we do. They're using medium disruptors. Damn! How are they using disruptors already? Holy crap! Are you a fallen empire? What the hell? It's not even a fallen empire. He's just like, I have really good technology. I kill you. He's got... <laughs> Excuse me? You've got more HP on your Corvettes than I do. You've got shields. You've got better, better weapons by far. Like, how did you do this? I think he's hunting our our science ship, possibly. Anomaly found. Leave be for now. 
situation log updated. Okay, well, we did manage to do that. Um, you are being pursued up here. We found a neutral and then an amoeba. Uh, let's see, this space amoeba is kind of dangerous. Why don't you go down here instead? Meanwhile, where is the other primary fleet? I mean, we have positive 3% war score from winning that battle. Negotiate. Offer white peace. Negotiate. He wants our capital, our only capital. He's just like, I want to eat you. <laughs> they are already considering a peace offer from us. Relative navy strength, length of war, war score. So maybe if we get a blockade in place, but somehow we're gonna have to, we need to replace that ship that we lost. I'm impressed. I am actually very impressed. I, I set the difficulty to hard on the mushroom campaign and it didn't feel hard at all. So this is actually fun for me. This is a, an interesting challenge here. Um, where did the other fleet go? It destroyed a research outpost, the, uh, the engineering bay, and then it just disappeared and now it's off sensors. I don't, I don't know where it is. Unacceptable, there will be no peace. <laughs> we are at war and we have not yet set our war demands. We could try to take their planet from them, or we could try to vassalize them. What would we rather do? Assuming we actually win the war, Well, let's see. What, what do we know about them? They are reptilian. They have continental habitability. They are non-adaptive, industrious, charismatic, continental preference. Like, we could just, like, conquer their planet and then urge them after we get one of our own people there. Or we could vassalize them and then use this crazy-ass fleet that they've got. I think we go for that. I think we go for vassalization. Those are the demands that we have. So how do you like me now, huh? I don't care, I'll build as many ships as I have to. I'll, I'll go, I'll go 20 Corvettes. Alright. Let's get everyone to join together. Uh... Bias is just going to continue to keep on knocking out Corvettes every two months. System survey complete. Where can we go that no one will bother us? We could try to sneak out here. You're on evasive or passive, so you could just move right by those alien vessels and there shouldn't be a problem. We could try to rebuild, but I feel like it'd be a waste. The fact that the three stack was so dangerous to me is what's scary. Like, imagine fighting his eleven stack. Like, he'll rip us apart. Okay, here he comes. 305. 12 Corvettes. These guys only have 300 hull points. Maybe they were like, like a specialized, like, event-based ship that he had? Because these, these ones have less HP. And they're only using red lasers, so they're no—they're nowhere near as good. They've got ion thrusters on them, but yeah, this is this is much more realistic. I think maybe he got like a special event, and that's what caused him to declare the war, thinking, "Hey, I've got these extra ships that are super badass, so I can beat this guy." And now, now that he doesn't have that, um, no, he's got more. Are these? Are these? No, okay. He's got 15 altogether. And we're at 12. We're gonna keep going over. All minerals to the... To all hands to battle stations, for Christ's sake. 
Station under attack. System right. survey complete. So, do we try to defend the research thing? 67 minerals worth. Or do we try to amass our, our fleet? I feel like amassing the fleet and, and having it would be better. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to send you down to here. And we're going to hope that we find a system without any bad guys in it. Station under attack. Just so you can keep on practicing your surveying. But... Research complete. We've just found the Batharian power plant, okay. Ion thruster could be good. The engineering facility is something we're skilled at, but there was another thing up here that I had wanted before. I think we'll go for the ion thruster. And we lack any any sight. We have no sight on Batharium, sadly. It killed that mining installation pretty damn quick. Also, fleet's present. We're aware of these crystalline entities. It's okay, we're just passing through. This is outside of sensor range, but we're pretty sure that that's where they are. We're about to be over our force limit, and it's going to start to cost us quite a bit, but who cares? Whatever it is, whatever it takes, man. I'm going to win this damn war. The first star hunters are over there. There's no upgrade that we can do to our corvettes. That I'm aware of. Nothing has changed. System survey complete. At least one amoeba has been detected. Okay. There wasn't anything here. Let's hop one more system down and then see what's there. If there's no enemies here, we'll just survey here. There's nothing. Survey there and then survey here. Actually, no. You survey there. You're going to survey here. First star hunters are now going after our mining outpost up here. Could we do the same thing to them? Go kill their outposts. Seems fine to me. Let's wait. Uh, wait a second. Wait for that last ship. Oh, he's come here. 17 Corvettes. Complete. Jesus, dude. You are going nuts. We're at 15 out of 15. Research complete. We now have deflectors. We did research Batharium Power Plant 1. I'd like to get that too. Survey speed, though, is also quite good. As is the fusion reactor. Um, but since we lack the Batharium to, to take advantage of it, I think we'd be better off going for, like, this thing. No one cares about Voidcraft, right? I don't think so. Just a bunch of long-lived turtles. So 349 power versus his 432 power. About the only thing we have going for us is the cautious, the evasion thing. Um, his leader is just leader experience gain, so he does not have evasion. I wish he'd just kind of come toward our starport, let our starport shoot at him. That would be nice. Meanwhile, we're waiting on another Corvette. Um, I'm gonna keep on building them. The maintenance cost of your military ships is increased by 23% due to being over your naval force limit. Yeah, man. With good reason. Hostile fleet detected. Alright. Do we engage now or do we let him take out another mining outpost? Let's think. If I engage him and we lose, that is pretty much game over. If I wait and he kills two mining outposts, we lose two mining outposts. We can always rebuild the mining outposts. We also did just get deflectors.
cost upgrade would be 260. That would actually be better than having another Corvette. Let's see how long it will take. Station under attack. I think we're better off upgrading. I think we upgrade. Station under attack. Lasers do well against armor. They don't have bonuses against shields. If we could get some shields, that would be good. He doesn't have any shields. Intercept that fleet. We have to intercept that fleet. Damn it. Uh, cancel the upgrades. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Anomaly found. Go ahead. I trust you. Well, that was another victory. Another another three some war score. He's gonna take out all my damn mining outposts. But in the end, we're gonna conquer him, man. We're gonna we're gonna own this bastard. If we get these damn deflectors completed. upgraded. Anomaly found. Station under attack. Come on, mining station. Defend yourself. Use your use your guns. We've discovered ancient we've re we've recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. They must have been active on this region of space approximately 12 million years ago. Begin the Voltwam event chain. Updated. Okay. Station under attack. You station suck. under attack. Situation log updated. Old factory study available. 30 days. Go ahead and do it. Hey man, that's what I guess this is what you get on a harder on a hard difficulty next to a military AI that actually knows how to play. This guy's like crazy. Special project complete. Okay, we end up with 100 more experience on Paul Yurik. Paul Yurik who's almost level 5. Well, 100 experience is not a huge amount for him. And we gained 126 societal research points. Some sort of whiff box. And you finished surveying that system. Well, move here and let's find out if there's anything else that's dangerous there. We're, we're, we're missing out on so many resources. Being over the force limit. I have to imagine he's over his force limit. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. All I know is we're 61% upgraded. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Station under attack. Yes, this is what we want. Attack near my starport. What is the range of my starport? That's the fleet. Because the starport itself has... has guns. Laser defense module. Yeah, it's firing. There we go. Hostile fleet engaged. My fleet is no longer upgrading. Damn it! We didn't finish the upgrades. Construction ship under attack. Okay, he's hitting with 81% accuracy, dodging 45% accuracy. We're only evading 26, hitting 55. This is looking, this is looking, looking okay. Never mind. He, re he retreated. He did an emergency warp out. And the upgrade didn't stop. That's awesome. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Situation log updated. All right. Uh, we're fully repaired and he, he just aborted the system. Let's chase him. We know that he's here. Go, get him. Research complete. Investigate the giant science thing. No bad guys here. Survey. We did lose a couple ships, which is actually kind of okay, because now we're not paying quite as much for research. We got the Frontier Clinic, which would have been amazing if we were colonizing, except this guy's a doofus. Um, more border range is almost always good.
we have to assume he's retreating to here. And now that we have our shields, I feel good. We got 50 shields on top of that, which he's going to have a hard time dealing with because he uses lasers just like we do. Um, Scientist Matthias has leveled up. Puts us at 7 war score. For some reason, even though... Okay, so his emergency retreat didn't count as a battle. Seems questionable to me. Let's go see what we see here. We might not engage anything in this system. We might try to pick off some of his extremities. And let's see what we see. We see mining outpost. There's a three frigate fleet here, a mining outpost. He's got his entire fleet in the home system. I think we try to pick off some of his mining stuff. There is... Okay, he's he's coming to engage us. Okay, in that case, let's leave. Let's not engage in his home system. That seems silly to me. Are we out? We're out. So we go here. It's within his space, but he hasn't upgraded it. This is also not within his space. This is... Also not within his space. What the hell? Wow. Okay, so he doesn't have any anything else. It's just that one location. Let's go here. See if he wants to come and engage us on the on the route back. Do we just keep on overbuilding the force limit? I think we have to. I think we're going to need like 20 Corvettes to Hostile guarantee to guarantee Hostile victory. Oh, we're immediately in combat. Awesome. And he didn't even fully repair. What a dummy. He's got some ships with shields. 25 shields. Okay, so the battle is... Uh, he's got 15 Corvettes here versus our 14 Corvettes. We've got a total hull point of 4,200. When it says hull points, do you think that considers shields? Well, let's figure it out. We've got 14. Each one has 300. 14 times 300 is 4,200. So no, it's not counting shields. He's got fewer hull points. He's got uh, about equivalent. This is going to be really good for us, I think. I'm hoping. Most of the damage that he took was from that emergency warp out, actually. He's reinforced. We're losing ships. 14, 13. Special project complete. Wow. Nice job, Sean. That's some good stuff there, man. Um, come check out this system. You are on passive. We'll get an alert if there's something bad there. I guess we're not actually overbuilding our force limit, we're just maintaining our force limit. I'm going to win this fight. You will die. Oh, you are so dead. You are so dead! Situation log up and, and another emergency retreat. Chase him. Our shields will recharge on the way. We are at 60% hull strength, but he should be even more damaged. And there's a chance, maybe... I don't know, but maybe... Can we catch him? Before he gets back? Before he gets back to a starport to repair? I'd rather go for the three. Over the one. Ends the Habitable Worlds event survey chain. Cool. I don't think we're fast enough. Okay, um, what is this giving you? a mining station. Let's take that out. We're going to pick off some of his extremities then while we continue to build stuff. You have entered into a system that was empty. Cool. It's got a tundra world here. Just go ahead and survey. Get your experience in. Uh, we are still going to end up one over the force limit. We've got two ships that are here. Let's wait for that third ship to complete and then we'll reinforce. He's at five corvettes left. 
he is considered inferior to us. When we look at the war and his willingness to negotiate, he is willing to accept white peace now due to relative navy strength. He is negative 1,000. Need at least 20 war score to make demands. Okay. Well, let's blow up some more stuff. Hostile fleet engaged. Wow, that, that doesn't seem right. We haven't inflicted 5,000 damage already. This thing only has 2,000 hit points. How can you say it's done 5,000 damage? Situation log updated. Commander Cax, the commanding officer of the Dirik, served with a distinction during regent engagement that took place in that battle. So killing that station gave us a new admiral. Out of, out of the blue. And he is a... Cautious and fleet upkeep guy. Well, I'm sorry, Daryl, but you're fired. <laughs> you are now you are now re replaced by Andrew Bell. Why is the game unpaused? Christ's sake. Andrew Bell is in charge. He's he's got the same modifier and he's got lower fleet upkeep, which helps out tremendously. This is a mining station. And mining station. Just kind of maneuver around a little bit. Let's grab these guys and have them reinforced to this fleet. Now, our election, we gotta pay attention to our election. Next election's in 2210, which is very, very soon. Is there any chance whatsoever we can do the edict? No. So we're just gonna miss out on the influence. Meanwhile, is there um Is there any other thing we can do, maybe like on our planet, with our, our influence to help out? An edict, perhaps? Infrastructure projects? I mean, by now we have to have another pop that's that's working. Yeah, we have a, a pop that's building nothing. We could always use more minerals. Land of Opportunity, no. Ethics Divergence, Energy Credits, no. If anything, I'd do this one. Building costs and construction time. I think so. It's just such a good one because it's our capital. So, um... We could just ignore the, mon ignore the money and just make, make minerals. I think we ignore the food. We can't really. Actually, we can because we're going to clear out this food. Let's ignore the food, and we're going to build a mining network. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? No, no, that's not at all what I told you to do. I told... I told... You... To merge with the first Star Hunters. The first Star Hunters are killing stations. Get your ass back up here. Maybe I accidentally told them to repair. Kill that. Starve him of his minerals. Another empty system. Continental world down here. Our scientists are doing a great job. Anomaly found. Um, 25% chance seems Research fine. Complete. We now have access to the ion thruster, just like he does. Level 2 assembly yards, I think we need this. We could get the corvette spam going. Upgrade our corvettes, like, we might not build a colony. I was hoping, remember with our governor. <laughs> Jeez, he's about to get reelected already. I was hoping we'd be able to build a spaceport, but... Nope, the election is in, uh, two months. Apparently... Apparently he remembers that he's been supported one time. I wonder if that maybe will persist. Keep him in power.
Andrew Bell, our new leader. Maybe we can pick off this military base. Adds the X Planet modifier. Jeez. Wow. Now that is something we need to colonize. This is a location for Frontier Outpost, for sure. So we need to get our, uh... We need to get... need to get some influence so that we can do that. Wow. Let's get them combined. I'm a little concerned about repairs, but I'm gonna go try to pick off this one station here. I don't think we're within range of the starport. I guess we're about to find out. I really don't know. I hope not. If we are, we're gonna have to Im emergency bail out. I don't see like a starport range on it, you know? Well, this is this is the planet. Where's the starport? That's a construction ship. That's the planet. Hostile fleet engaged. Nope, the mining base is firing. Stay on this. No! We're getting pulled in. Hostile fleet engaged. No, we gotta bail out. Crap. Go home and repair. Okay, um, I just missed what we found. Ah, there's so much going on! I just missed what happened. Okay, science ship. You did a good job, sir. Uh, go see what's over here. Hopefully nothing bad. Okay, so, an anomaly was found. Uh, did we not did, did, I thought we did that. Or is there still an anomaly here? There is still an anomaly here. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Derek Major. Mining space, and- okay, so he got re-elected again. And yes, the supported one time stayed- stayed there. That's excellent. Okay, and he wants us to rebuild our stations. That's perfect. We have the minerals. We have naval superiority right now. I think we need to replace our lost mining bases. Um, so let's get that started right away. These things will be cheap to rebuild as well. Actually, there's three of them here. He, he killed a lot of my stuff, that bastard. That'll give us enough influence as well from doing the mining bases to go build the frontier outpost and get that plus five mineral one. Holy crap. Plus five minerals for one income? Sounds good. In the meantime, though, we need to get fully repaired. Also, um, what are you up to? You found a safe system? Survey it. A tropical world. This is a tough campaign. I'm, I'm loving it. This is way more fun than the previous two, for me, at least. We got an upgrade. There was a science upgrade that gives us better evasion. The chemical thrusters. We should upgrade those. Unfortunately, that means we'd have to drop some deflectors. So would we rather have better evasion or 25 shields? I'd say the evasion's better. To upgrade will cost us... Nothing. Do it. I think the evasion's worth more. Sublight speed and evasion, it's way better. Research complete. Okay, gravitic sensors, sure. Colony development speed, physics lab, or sentinel point defense. Point defense could be really useful against amoeba, but I don't think that it's such a big concern that we have to really worry about it. I think we'll go for colony development speed. We still got this this anomaly here in our own system to analyze. Which science ship is closer? You are? Okay. After you're done with your current task. Why don't you come home and do this? Okay. 
We are repairing while upgrading, which is good. Does cost minerals to repair. We can finish our 53-month Corvette Assembly Yard Spaceport 2 at Tech, then we could potentially upgrade and have a higher force limit. Which would be good. Construction ships have both just completed. Uh, let's have one of you go do this thing. Let's have the other one do the free energy thing. As soon as we have the resources for it. Getting really low. How's the planet look? Rocking that. We're rocking this. We're going to need to clear this blocker soon. Energy's totally fine at the moment. Under attack. Okay, while approaching it, uh, we stumbled upon two unknown vessels hidden in the gas giant. Smugglers charge forward. Paul Yurik. Just go home. Science ship under attack. What? It says he's not engaged in any combat, but I can't retreat? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, come home, get some repairs. Actually, you're the damaged ship. You just come home, and before you worry about it, just do that survey. The other science ship... You just focus on surveying the rest of the system. We'll keep you out and about. You should get the ion thrusters upgrade on the science ships as well. And the construction ships we should upgrade as well. Colony ship, don't care about scanners. Do care about that. And we're waiting on just a couple more resources to start our next one here. Fleet is almost fully upgraded. Have the extra evasion. And we're at 26 war score. How are you feeling these days? You feel equivalent again. Hmm. Well, I don't know about that. 26 war score, so we had a great battle. 18 war score from that. Um, to place demands, you need... He would accept white peace. I want vassalization. So, we need to be able to take out his starport is what it comes down to. If we can take out his starport, we can establish a blockade on his capital. And then, by doing that, he'll accept vassalization. The bastard. Stupid reptile bastards. We should be doing more building on the planet. We are producing barely any food, which is giving us a growth rate of 0.9 per month, which is perfectly fine. But we do need to clear this out for next time, so let's clear this out now before I forget. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Alright, our fleet is repaired. Let's go see what we see. Nothing in the system. Free to survey. We were supposed to be a colonial nation. Damn it. Alright, I gotta wrap this one up though. We're getting on too long. In the next episode, we'll see if the Netraxia Asaka peoples can be subjugated. So, alright. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.